53 Crazy Music Facts Everyone Should Know, Tyler Bates, the composer of the Guardians of the Galaxy score, and other film scores like 300 and Watchmen, was the guitarist for Marilyn Manson. In 2019, Joey Gatiss Jr., who played lead guitarist Zack Zack Attack Mooneyham in Jack Black's School of Rock Band, was arrested by Florida police for stealing guitars and pawning them off. While on a hunting trip, guitarist Jerry Cantrell of Alice in Chains forgot that November only had 30 days, missing a scheduled performance on December 1st. The next day, he received a calendar as a gift from Columbia Records. When Jimi Hendrix played Woodstock, he had a clause in his contract that no acts could play after him. Due to some scheduling and technical issues, he didn't play until 9 a.m. Monday. By that time, most people had gone home and missed his legendary set. Jeff Skunk Baxter, guitarist for Steely Dan and Doobie Brothers, became a ballistic missile expert that contracted with the Department of Defense and worked on a NASA advisory committee. Ozzy Osbourne was bullied by Black Sabbath's guitarist Tony Iommi in school, and he was only invited into the band after bandmate Geezer Butler saw Ozzy advertising in a music shop that he had a PA. In 2000, the tomb of Leonard Skinner's lead singer Ronnie Van Zant was vandalized and broken into, and his remains were desecrated, forcing his burial site to be relocated. In 2012, a Craigslist ad accidentally revealed the new location when a family selling two burial plots mentioned they were in Jacksonville Memory Garden Cemetery next to Ronnie's tomb. It has since been moved to a third site which remains unknown. The song, When the Levee Breaks, made popular by Led Zeppelin, was originally written and recorded in 1929 by famed guitarist Memphis Minnie. A Grateful Dead concert from 47 years ago still remains the largest ticketed concert in the United States. It was on September 3, 1977, in English Town, New Jersey, and 107,019 people attended. Nirvana played a concert in Buenos Aires where the crowd threw mud and trash at the all-girl opening act. Kurt Cobain was so upset that he sabotaged the show by playing mostly lesser-known songs and teasing Smells Like Teen Spirit without ever playing it. Michael Jackson removed Dirty Diana from his concert set list in London for Princess Diana to be respectful, but she asked for him to keep it in the set list as it was one of her personal favorites. During a concert in Northern Ireland, Dave Mustaine of Megadeth drunkenly dedicated a song to the cause and yelled, give Ireland back to the Irish. A riot then broke out between the Catholics and Protestants, and Megadeth had to travel in a bulletproof bus. During the Rolling Stones' Altamont Free Concert in 1969, where the Hells Angels were hired as stage security, four people were killed, but the overall population of the concert did not change since four babies were born during the concert as well. The song Angel by Sarah McLachlan, the song famously used for the ASPCA Animal Cruelty PSAs, is actually about the fatal overdose of Smashing Pumpkins keyboardist Jonathan Melvoin. Keyboardist Billy Preston is the only musician to be credited on a Beatles recording, other than the group's four members. The group's number one hit, Get Back, is credited to The Beatles with Billy Preston. The band Asia was a supergroup made up of the singer from King Crimson, the guitarist of Yes, the keyboardist of The Buggles, and the drummer of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Elvis Costello's longtime keyboardist, Steve Nason, got the stage name Steve Naive after he once asked, what's a groupie? Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys wrote their first single, Surfin', for a high school music class and received an F for it because he was supposed to write a piece of classical music. In 2018, the high school retroactively changed his grade to an A. Jack Black didn't learn how to play the guitar until he was 23 years old. Kyle Gass taught him to play guitar in return for food, mainly from the fast food chain Jack in the Box. Temptations lead singer David Ruffin died in a West Philadelphia crack house in 1991. His family claim he had $40,000 in cash on his person at the time. Brad Whitford, rhythm guitarist for the hard rock band Aerosmith, was forced to miss the first month of the band's 2009 summer tour due to surgery. Whitford suffered internal bleeding after banging his head while getting out of his Ferrari. Maroon 5 was banned from China after keyboardist Jesse Carmichael wished the Dalai Lama of Tibet a happy birthday on Twitter. The majority of the Gin Blossom hits were written by guitarist Doug Hopkins, who was kicked out of the band before they got famous, leading to his death. One of the reasons Megadeth guitarist Chris Poland was fired from the band was because he started pawning the band's equipment to buy heroin. 
Black Sabbath has had over 20 members since forming in 1968. Ozzy Osbourne lasted a decade with guitarist Tony Iommi being the only consistent member for five decades until the band called it a day. All five of the original members are still alive today. Guitarist Terry Reed turned down the role of lead singer for the New Yardbirds. He recommended someone else though, Robert Plant, as well as a drummer named John Bonham, and the New Yardbirds went on to become Led Zeppelin. He also turned down the lead singer role for Deep Purple. When Rush was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, guitarist Alex Lifeson gave a two-minute speech consisting of only one word, blah. In 2006, Banksy released hundreds of fake copies of Paris Hilton's first album, Paris, complete with fake tracks like Why Am I Famous and What Have I Done, with remixes by DJ Danger Mouse. He also replaced the album cover to depict Paris with a bare chest. One copy sold for over $10,000. Bruce Willis has a music album with a song that made it to number five on the Billboard Hot 100, Respect Yourself. Twelve years before taking their fans to court for sharing their music, Metallica released the 598 EP, Titled to stop their record label and music stores from overcharging fans. The record came with a sticker warning, Do Not Pay More, a direct jab at music industry markups. The U.S. Navy contacted the village people to use in the Navy in an advertising campaign for television and radio. They gave the rights to the song for free on the condition that the Navy helped them shoot the music video. The Navy provided them with a warship, several aircraft, and plenty of seamen. The premise for the Smashing Pumpkins music video today was inspired by a memory from from Billy Corgan when the local ice cream truck driver quit his job and he ended up giving away all of the ice cream in the truck to all the neighborhood kids. At the height of his fame, Billy Squire's career was abruptly destroyed by the music video for his hit song, Rock Me Tonight. Squire believes its homoeroticism alienated a significant portion of his fan base. In 1972, after British conservative activist Mary Whitehouse successfully campaigned to stop Alice Cooper's Schools Out from being shown on the BBC music show Top of the Pops, Cooper sent her a bunch of flowers since he believed the publicity helped the song to reach number one. The song Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites by the artist Skrillex was observed as a mosquito repellent due to its low frequency vibrations. The scientists also found that mosquitoes exposed to the song had sex far less often than other mosquitoes without music. In 1986, while being filmed for the Bangles music video Walk Like an Egyptian, Susanna Hoffs moved her eyes from side to side to look at certain members in the crowd to counter stage fright and had no idea that a close-up of her doing so would become a focal point and iconic moment in the video. The music of Nine Inch Nails has reportedly been used by the U.S. military as music torture to break down the resolve of detainees. When filming the music video for Beat It, Michael Jackson worked with the LAPD to recruit members of the Bloods and Crips for the video to help foster peace between the two gangs. Avril Lavigne's Girlfriend was the first YouTube music video to reach 100 million views, doing so back in 2000. In 2005, Sony used music CDs to illegally install a rootkit virus on 22 million computers, and when caught, they released an uninstaller that failed to remove the rootkit, installed further programs, and illegally collected user information. 